Hello guys, I'm going to do a new review on the AQ Radon, my old one pretty clear, so I'm going to do a new one. This card has some, a few DFI, or well, got a DFI port on it, it can support them DFI, DVDI and DVI-ID, HDMI port, two mini display ports right there. I've used this card a while, for a while so it's a bit dusty, but quite a nice looking card. Performs for real, doesn't get hot much. Comes with programs on it to um, optimize it for corning or for gaming. Now you can see a six pin power plug, what you need, you need to plug it in with. Quite a big card, you know. It's about nine inches in length. Well, here's the box for it. Twenty percent cooler, direct CD, so that helps with them cooling off the city. Next one from that, the GPU tweak. So um, basically, with that you can make it run faster, play better games. Well, not really play better, but it will play them a lot better than overclock. You can also do that, make it run a lot faster again. One one year about graphics card G GDDR5 comes with um Ifinity display. So you support up to four monitors on this graphics card. No more graphic. Here's some jibber jibber on the box. Yeah, here's like a die hard overclocker. Yeah, quite a good card. I'm going to put the camera down for four. I'm going to open the box up. I've already used the box, or the card for roll, like I said. So. In the box, you get the wrapper that comes in, you protect it, and train it. You, if you get one of these, then it goes on, the, on that when you originally get it. So that will puff off from that, you protect that, and you can. You, if you get this, which protects the DVI port, like so. That fits on there. I'm not sure that anyone will need this, but um, you if you get an adapter into this, the EVI A for analog, you plug that in into there, and then that you've got a full monitor to count off if you use an analog monitor. But I don't think anyone does nowadays. And the last one in the box is you get them bridge. No cross over. This is what you used to do like this to drop a graphics card. I better show you that. And that plugs in there. Just there. And it will link over to enough graphics card. Like for one you want to have like, more than four monitors. Cross over. And in the bottom of the box you lift out this bit. You have the VG driver. And manual day. Also, you got a speed setup just for a load of random stuff. Tells you some stuff. But one thing you do not get in the box, as you've seen, I've mentioned that it doesn't. That it's got a um, six pin plug now. But one thing you don't get in the box is one of these cables, a Molex to six pin. If you want to use your card? You need one of them. In England, they're about three pound, not even that, for, to, to buy one. In America, about four dollars. You better get one of them. Plug it in to the back. It simply plugs in down here. Like 
go. Make sure you get the right way around. And then you can plug in there, and then you plug that into the computer. If you don't plug that in, you won't get the card won't power up. I've had a few um, questions, you know, if I'm redoing my um, review, make it clear for people. But now you need one of them to power up. So yeah, that's all good. I played a few games on it. It ran it perfectly. If I can, I'll do some gameplay on it. Put that on the video at the end, or link it into another video. But yeah, that's um, Asus Radon. Very good card. Doesn't really get that hot, and yeah. Enjoy it, people. Keep measure out. But as you can see the card. It's a 9 inches in length. So you're going to have to have quite a long computer case. I'm going to do fix in mine. And as you can see, my computer case is quite a big one. And it only just fits into that gap. Just. Um, it's a 9 inches in length. So if I Turn this a minute. As you see, the card is about an inch and a half in thickness. It's got two ports on it. The top port, you're going to need two expansion bays for your computer. Obviously, one is for the corner of the card to extract the air. It's about 4 inches in length on the back side and on the front it's about a good 5 inches, 5.5 five about 5 it's got the cooling pipes on it I'm um, to put the camera down for a minute and um, put the card in and show you um, how much room there is to, to, to spare. Right, as you can see, um, the graphic card is now in the case. 9 inches long, my case is a pretty big case and um, it only just fits in. And you see another. Just about an inch room between the back and my hard drive. Yeah, it is a pretty big graphic card, but a pretty decent one as well. But I'm not sure how, how much it is in America, but in England it's about 104 quid. So pretty reasonably priced, good for the money. And yeah, uh, I think it's about 150 dollars in America. I'm not sure. Don't keep me to that. But yeah, extra two ports, you know, keep holds up. Really do recommend the card. It's pretty decent. Very good for the money. But shit, I can't have any more graphics cards. You know, unfortunately, I need to get a bigger motherboard and bigger, even bigger case for that. Well, yeah. very good. And thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe for more computer tips or help. If you need any help or anything, don't be afraid to send me a message or a comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Here we have guys, it's um, all the different modes that you can use on the ASUS GPU tweak which I was telling you about earlier on this is what you, this is the software that comes with the graphics card if you click on the down button depending on how many graphics cards you have installed in your computer that will tell you which one you are and you can select whatever card you want here's the power saver mode, this is what the power saver mode will be like all different on there. Gaming or something, I'm not sure, not there. That's what I use for the time, no, actually, it's not full settings, but. You can set default, or you can select them which if you want. It goes down to the minimum of 4200 on this one, up and up to the maximum of 5000. And that one look at, goes up to maximum of 1100. And get that to a minimum of 943. 
you can also set it manual fan speed up to the maximum but I'm not going to apply it as you don't want the fan on the graphic card to go over the top when it don't need to it will shorten the fan life but yeah, it can all be manual could it default get rid of that I'm going to show you the AC GPU set now let's show you some more information about the graphics card You press that little button, and then panels can snap together and they snap, snap apart. So you can move them freely or with one big fin. It's just some random things about the graphics card. I ain't gonna read them out, there's too many of them. But snap the unit back together, it's all good. Powered by radar on there, as you see. So you have some more from the settings tabs, all different things on there. At the top, you see five tabs GPU voltage, yeah. Another tab. This one's the recording. I'm not sure how to use it, but it'll be in the booklet of how to use it. And if you've got an old video format, you'd have thought that'd be MP4 as the default. Should have left tab here for all other things like channels and stuff. Yeah, back to them. I'm going to sh now show you um, the properties of it. On um, what, what decimal I'm going to for it. As you see, it's 7.6 on both the gaming graphics and graphics alone. So for the package, it's quite good for 100, £104 in Britain. I'm not sure what it is in America. But yeah, very good value for what you get. Brilliant graphics for graphics card. And good for the price. Brilliant 7.6. And well, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe for more, please subscribe for more videos. And yeah, cheers.